is officially canceled for this season. Everybody's immediate thought was, oh, God, what are we going to do? We got Oklahoma and Texas that are supposed to play that weekend in the Cotton Bowl. If they're not doing the state fair, do they allow this game to continue on as it is, right? This is a an every year neutral site game. There is no home team. There is no away team. These two teams schedule this, and they have an even number of fans in the stadium. It is split 50-50 down the middle if you haven't been. I haven't been either, but it is incredible from what I hear. I've had a lot of friends that have actually gone, and they say it is one of the craziest things you've ever seen. So, all of the talk was about that. Is it still going to go on there? If so, do they end up with... You know, does Texas host this year and then Oklahoma host next year and then they go back? I mean, what do, what do they do? They ended up coming out announcing that they are still going to hold the game in Dallas at the Cotton Bowl, Yeah. even though they are not going to be having the state fair, which obviously that's not something that was unexpected, right? Everything no. big is being canceled right now. That's right. Except for that stupid Foo Fighters concert in Knoxville that I got my refund for. They still hadn't canceled that. Kind of surprised. I mean, it's like I it's mean, almost sold out. 20-something thousand people. I wish I'd have gotten the ticket. I mean, it's just unreal. Just unreal. But anyway, so they are they are going to play the game. Yeah. And I'm curious about this. How many, how many neutral site games do you think are actually going to happen this year if we don't have fans? Like, what is the purpose of having I, I, the neutral it, site? It's just a contractual thing. I think that I think that if we have a normal first four weeks of the season before things we think is going to get really weird. Um, I think we'll get at least two to three weeks in before things get chaotic. Um, I, I Yeah, I think Alabama USC is going to be played. I think all those neutral site games are still going to be played. It's, and I think they've got a contract to play them there. So, yeah. uh, Joe Castiglione, who is the Oklahoma athletic director, said, we understand and respect the decision made by the State Fair of Texas and acknowledge that it was an extremely difficult one. Our hope remains that we can play the OU Texas game at the Cotton Bowl, but obviously every aspect of our season requires constant monitoring and planning. The best thing all of us can do at this time is follow closely the CDC guidelines to reduce the spread of the virus. Um, so they they end up going back on all of this, and and they are they have announced that they are actually going to play the game there in Dallas. I don't know how it's going to go, but I mean we'll see. Like th- this has been. Again, this has already been nuts. Michael jumped in on Twitch. He said, I'm ready for Fight Island. Yeah, we're going to be previewing tomorrow. I am ready for that one. So, I need live sports. I need it so, so bad. Um, but, yeah, I, I was I was shocked when I read it earlier about the State Fair. And and then when they said, you know what, it's going to go off there anyway. It doesn't matter whether there's people there or not. Like, yeah. both teams are going to travel, and we'll make it work. So, uh, I know everybody's trying to get away from traveling as much as they can, but this is not exactly a, a long distance. So it's not like either team really has to fly in. They can both bus in, and it's it's pretty simple. So it's an easy, easy solution there to just play the game. And I'm glad that it will continue. Everything will go on as scheduled, or at least we hope. Let's move off of that one. Let's talk about a little pop culture stuff. Um, I'm 